Good morning. How can I assist you today? Good morning. I'm here for my citizenship interview. Can I have your USCIS appointment letter and your green card, please? Sure. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Here is your appointment letter and your green card, and here is your waiting number. Thank you. Please have a seat. We will call your name when your appointment is ready. Thank you again, officer. You're welcome. Good morning. I'm Immigration Officer Emily, and I'll be conducting your interview today. How are you doing? Good morning, officer. I'm pretty good. Thank you for asking. How about yourself? I'm doing well too. Thank you. Please follow me. Please come in and remain standing. Thank you. You can place your belongings next to the chair. Thank you. Before we start the interview, I'm going to place you under oath. Could you please raise your right hand? Sure. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Please take a seat. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Do you have any questions before we start the interview? No, officer. Can I please have your appointment notice, your green card, and your state issued ID, such as a driver's license and your passport? Sure. Here you go. Thank you. Why do you want to be an American citizen? I would like to vote in local and federal elections, and to have the freedom to travel without any restrictions. Great. When did you become a lawful permanent resident? February eleventh, twenty eighteen. How did you get your green card? By diversity visa program. Great. What is your current legal name? Santiago Benjamin Lopez. Have you used any other name since birth? No, officer. Would you like to legally change your name? Not. I don't wanna. What is your date of birth? November sixth, nineteen eighty-nine. What is your country of birth? Colombia. Could you confirm your social security number? Two five eight two five six five zero zero. What is the best phone number to reach you at? Six seven one two five eight two six five nine. Are one or both of your parents a U.S. citizen? No, they are not, officer. What is your current mailing address? Thirty-six fifty Rosecrans Street, Apartment Two, San Diego, California nine two one one zero. Have you moved in the past three months? No. What's your previous address? 
2855 Stevens Creek Boulevard, California, 95050, and it was a single house. When did you move from this previous address? I don't remember exactly the month, but I think June 2020. What do you do for a living? I'm a full-time assistant store manager at Walmart. How long have you been working there? Since August 2019. All right. Have you taken a trip outside the United States in the last five years? Where yes, I have gone on three trips. Where and when was the last trip? To Colombia in January 2022. What was the purpose of your last trip? To visit my parents and my wife's family. I hope you enjoyed it. Absolutely, I did. Have any of your trips outside the United States been longer than six months? No, officer. Great. What is your current marital status? Married. What date did you marry your current spouse? March 20th, 2019. Where did you get married? Santa Clara, California. Could I see your original marriage certificate, please? Yes, officer. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. What is your current spouse's legal name? Sarah Mariana. What is your current spouse's date of birth? October 10th, 1992. What is your current spouse's current address? My spouse's current address is the same as my current address. Is your current spouse a U.S. citizen? Yes, she is a U.S. citizen. Have you been married previously? No, officer. Do you have any children? No, officer. All right. Let us go over some questions from the Part 12 of N-400 application then. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No, never, officer. What does claim mean? To state you are a U.S. citizen. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No, I have not, officer. Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No, never. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No, I haven't. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with the Communist Party? No, never. What Communist Party means? The government owns and controls everything, for example, China or North Korea. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with a terrorist organization? No, never. What does terrorist organization mean? An organization that uses violence for political or religious purposes. 
have you ever advocated either directly or indirectly the overthrow of any government by force or violence no i haven't were you ever involved in any way with forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations no, never. What is an insurgent organization? A group that uses weapons and fights against the government. Do you support the constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. Do you know what oath of allegiance to the United States means? A promise to be loyal to the United States. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes, I'm willing. Are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I'm willing. Are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I'm willing. Excellent. Now we're going to do the civics test. Are you ready? Yes, I'm a little bit nervous. Have you studied? Yes, I've studied since I've applied. Good. Then you should have no problem. I hope so, officer. All right. I'll ask up to ten questions, and you pass if you can give six correct answers and you can provide just one answer. First question. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War I. That's correct. What is an amendment? A change or an addition to the Constitution. Good. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. Right. What are two cabinet-level positions? Secretary of Commerce. Secretary of Education. Correct. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. Good. When was the Constitution written? 1787. That's right. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights. That's correct. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attack the United States. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York. Well, you got more than six questions correct, so you passed the civics test portion. I think you did well with the history and government test. Now we're going to do the English reading and writing tests. I'm going to show you a sentence on the tablet, and I want you to read it back to me. What are the colors of the American flag? 
Great. Now listen carefully to this sentence that I'll say and write it down on the digital tablet in front of you. The American flag is red, white, and blue. Can you repeat it one more time for me, please? The American flag is red, white, and blue. Congratulations! You passed the English reading and writing test, too. Excellent! Congratulations! You passed your naturalization interview. Now let's review your applicant form. Let's take a look at the application on the tablet and make sure everything is correct. Then, sign and date at the bottom. Yes, everything is correct, officer. Great. Now I will submit your application for approval. Thank you, officer. Now, everything is right. I just need my supervisor to do a quality check and final approval. And here's a copy of your test result. Thank you, officer. Do you have any questions? Yes, I do. Do you know when I will be able to take the oath ceremony? Once the application is approved, we will probably send you a notice. Thank you again, officer. You are welcome. Congratulations again. I will walk you back to the waiting area then. Thank you again, officer.